in my spare time, look what I did. I built an AM transmitter, a radio transmitter. That sound is coming from the radio. That's called AM radio transmission. This little 555 timer circuit that I built before, it's a TLC 555 that uh, goes to, makes a steady 621 kilohertz waveform. And it's adjustable. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to use that. So I built a amplitude modulation transmitter circuit and I'm going to call it AM-ish and not true amplitude modulation because true amplitude modulation uh, uses a carrier wave and superimposes it on an input uh, signal which creates a modulated amplitude that goes up and down. So using a 555 timer um, configured in a standard way uh, I, as an A-stable multivibrator, I used uh, two 220-ohm uh, resistors and, and one nanofarad capacitor to generate a carrier frequency, which was a square wave of um, 650-ish kilohertz. And uh, basically, by putting the audio signal through a capacitor on the input uh, of the control voltage pin, which is pin 5, you can get a sort of AM transmitter that works. The output, which is coming from pin 3, is basically going through a uh, low-pass filter through this 4.7 kilo-ohm resistor and a small capacitor and going out to the an antenna, which has to be about, you know, a meter long in order to transmit, and it actually transmits pretty well. The low-pass filter converts it to a triangle wave. The triangle wave modulates better than a square wave in this case, and it doesn't require a sine wave to do this. So this is a basic triangle wave that I'm putting out after taking a um, wave from the 555 timer and putting it through this, basically a resistor and capacitor. This would be going out to the um, uh, antenna. So. This is the carrier wave signal. Here we are at a frequency of 650 uh, kilohertz, and I have an input signal going into the control voltage through a capacitor. And you can see what happens to the signal as I start increasing the volume to it. You see it start jumping up and down, and that is basically the way it does amplitude modulation. And if I put the, the actual um, signal superimposed on it, uh, and you could stop it here, and you could see the amplitude of the carrier wave modulating uh, with the input signal. The carrier wave's in blue, and the uh, yellow tracing is the actual input signal. So, um, there it is, amplitude modulation at its best. This turns out to be pseudo-amplitude modulation, where the entire signal is not really amplitude modulating in the traditional sense. The whole signal is going up and down repeatedly in line with the audio signal input. But let's see how this transmits and picks up on actual radio. See how well it actually transmits at that frequency, which is the, of the carrier wave. And here's the radio receiving it. Frequency of 652 and frequency of 652. And uh, that works pretty well. And all of that from this little 555 timer circuit.
with the input uh, voltage going to the control voltage through this little capacitor. It's a 4.7 uh, nanofarad capacitor. So like I mentioned before, this is a pseudo AM transmitter and doesn't really transmit amplitude modulation signals in the traditional sense. However, it has its advantages. It requires minimal components, a single chip, some other components, and it transmits and sounds pretty good with a decent range. In my next video, I'm going to make a real AM transmitter uh, using a sine wave carrier signal and uh, true AM modulation. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.